I don't think they recognize red poodles in Mexico. I just have that feeling. There's a couple countries in the world where they're not recognized. Lori's moment of self-doubt is warranted. This judge is from Mexico. Good day. Good day. Come on, crackers. Crackers. The Sudbury Show is prestigious enough and has enough entries to hire an international judge. Oh, you're bad. What are you doing? Lori picks up a ribbon, but no points, since Cracker is the only male puppy competing. Crackers, you're being bad today. How come? It's my man. Thank you. This next round against the two class bitches really counts. And if Lori wins, she'll have made Cracker a special, a champion with 10 points in total. Cracker wins best of opposite sex, but doesn't manage to beat the bitches. No points today. This is yours, this is yours, thank you. She's dragging it around the ring, its tail is down, it's freaking out. He gave it the breed. The other one, she was dragging while it choked half to death, and she gave, he gave it best of winners. Poodles are absent. In a fit, Lori decides to pull all her poodles from competition. She attempts to cool off by watching son Tristan learn the ropes at the junior handling ring. I'm so mad. I know, I can find I missed, like, I didn't see them. I just saw the... Dragging it around the ring. Tristan gets a second place prize. As for Lori, she's still fuming. Okay, you want to hear a complaint? This judge just put up a toy poodle that had to be dragged around its, the ring with its tail tucked. He considered that a good representative of the poodle breed. My dogs are absent for this afternoon. Now Lori decides to pull all of her dogs. No, honey, you did great in junior handling. Especially when you kiss the Pekingese on the head. That was very good. That was very cute. It doesn't take very long for news of Lori's disagreement to spread. First of all, they say, oh, a poodle hand, like somebody will say the story. By next week, it'll be a poodle handler, and it'll be one of us that did it, because we're poodle handlers, right? And that's, that's the thing. And then people hate handlers because of that display. Well, they should hate people that do that, but not all of us do. One point. That's like the one dog took the point and she wanted it. It's not the end of the world, it's a dog show. We have, what, four more months left in the year? Three months, essentially, of shows? And it's gonna start getting real tight in terms of who's on top and who's second and third. So, I mean, then you see, people are gonna get ferocious, let me tell you. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. But it's gonna get more competitive, for sure. I mean, they say it's friendly competition, but it's not, it's, 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 uh, you know, sometimes it's all out win. Yes, you can get quite upset and you put your heart and soul into it and you've spent every weekend doing this and then you really want to be, you want to reach your goals. And when somebody comes in and all of a sudden it's wiped out, it's not a good feeling. Imagine, you've just spent upwards of $50,000, let's say, to, to bring your to bring your dog to a top dog status type thing. And we're not even talking top dog of all breeds. We're saying, you know, whatever. Top top bearded collie or whatever. Then you might be 100 points behind or, or, or ahead or 300 points ahead of your closest competitor. The last show of the year, that other dog just slips by with the best in show. How do you feel? You want to kill yourself. But I mean, you know, this is it. I mean, owners take it very seriously. So do handlers, because handlers who lose could also lose their clients. Thanks for watching. Go to the dogs. Press the button. Press it. Press it. Press the 
button. Subscribe.